All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the final part of the show, we're going to talk about uh, Josh Allen and his third time's a charm. Is this the game that the Bills finally beat the Chiefs? Now, I'm not going to say, you know, whether or not that's going to happen. I'm going to talk about whether it could happen because, obviously, I want to save that for tomorrow. Because for tomorrow, with it being four games, we're literally just going to preview each game, you know, in its own segment. Um, so, you know, like the last segment, I kind of just want to go, uh, even though it's just, uh, you know, two playoff matchups, but I want to go through the previous two matchups when these teams, you know, played each other in the playoffs. So, obviously, you know, you had the AFC Championship game that was back during the COVID season. Um, Josh Allen in that game went 28-48, 287 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Uh, he had a 52 QBR and an 80.8. Uh, quarterback rating he was their leading rusher at 88 yards on the ground. Cole Beasley actually was their leading receiver in this game. I did not know that. Uh, T.J. Yeldon was there uh, on the team as well. Four receptions for 41 yards. That's a throwback name. Um, Dawson Knox had a touchdown. Isaiah McKenzie had a touchdown. Um, but yeah, the Bills lost that game 38 to 24. And then on the Chiefs side, Patrick Mahomes had three touchdowns, no interceptions, a QBR of 94.3, and a quarterback rating of 127.6. Three touchdowns, no interceptions. 325 yards passing. Um, Daryl Williams was actually their leading rusher. He had 52 yards rushing and a touchdown. Uh, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire had a rushing touchdown. Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey had big games. Tyree Kill had 172 receiving yards. Travis Kelsey had 13 receptions for 118 yards and two touchdowns. Um, Nicole Hardman had a touchdown in the game. Um, but, yeah, the Chiefs won that 38-24. to Um and, yeah, they went on to lose the Super Bowl that year to the Bucs. And then, of course, I mean, you had the classic uh, AFC divisional round from a couple years ago, the year after that. 42-36 uh, to 36 was the final score in this game. Um, Josh Allen finished 27-37, to 37, 329 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions, 136 quarterback rating, and a 92.1 QBR. Was their leading rusher again. for uh, He had 68 yards rushing on the ground. Um, and Gabe Davis, that was his big playoff performance um, that really uh, raised his fantasy stock because uh, everybody was all over Gabe Davis the following year, including myself. Um, I, I didn't realize that Gabe Davis uh, didn't play in the um, in the game against or that he was ruled out um, against the Steelers. I, I, I didn't realize that. I mean, not that it really mattered. But... Um, yeah, so Gabe Davis had eight receptions for 201 yards and four touchdowns. And Stephon Diggs only had three receptions for seven yards. So he didn't do any, he really didn't do anything in this game. Um, Josh Allen did fumble, but it, it wasn't a, a fumble loss. He recovered it. Um, and then for the Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes went 33 of 44, 378 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions, a 96.9 QBR, and a 123 quarterback rating. Um, and Patrick Mahomes actually was the leading rusher for the Chiefs. He had seven uh, seven carries for 69 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Tyree Kill had 11 receptions for 150 yards and a touchdown. Travis Kelsey had eight for 96 and a touchdown. I mean, what a game this was. Um, and obviously, with that game, I mean, we all remember, uh, you know, the Bills scored the go-ahead touchdown with 13 seconds left, and um, you thought the game was over, but the Chiefs had all three of their timeouts, and it was interesting because I, I saw uh, they posted it on uh, I saw it on Instagram, I, I believe, or TikTok. It was on social media. It was one of the two. Um, the, they the the audio of Travis Kelsey because he you know he told Tyree Kill you know what he should run on the first play um, because the Bills were playing off and Tyree Kill got that big chunk to start the drive. They called a timeout and then um, Kelsey said that you know if they run the same defense. You know, that seems going to be open down the middle. And, um, you know, when they went up to the line, Mahomes saw it and he said and told Kelsey to run that route. And Kelsey went right down that seam. Mahomes threw it to him. They got into field goal range. Butker kicked the, uh, the game-tying field goal, went into overtime. The Chiefs got the ball first. And uh, they went right down the field, scored the touchdown. Uh, Travis Kelsey caught the game-winning touchdown, and that was uh, that was the game. Um, and Josh Allen did not see the ball, and that's why there was all that, you know, controversy over the overtime rules, and, you know, and they did change him. Um, so, uh, 
Yeah, and it was because of that game. But, um, I mean, what else is Josh Allen supposed to do? I mean, that was an unbelievable game that he played. Um, but, you know, the Bills fell, fell a little bit short, you know. And, um, you know, the Chiefs ended up winning the game, of course. Uh, they ended up losing to the, uh, the Bengals, you know, the following week. Um, you know, that game went to overtime as well. And uh, the Chiefs did get the ball. But uh, Patrick Mahomes then threw a pick, and then they got into field goal range, and Evan McPherson kicked the game-winning field goal, and that was it. All right, so now it's third time's a charm here for Josh Allen. Can they finally get over the hump and beat the Chiefs in the playoffs? Now, again, Patrick Mahomes has never played in a road playoff game, you, can, you know, not counting the Super Bowls. So it's going to be different. Um, it's going to be different. And, you know, they did play in the regular season in Buffalo during the COVID season, but, again, no fans. For this game bills mafia is going to be going crazy for this game so the bills at least have their fans to back them up here in this spot in this postseason game um and the other thing too is and this didn't happen against the sealers uh josh allen gotta you gotta play a turnover free game as well and you know what he played a, pretty much a turnover free game in the the last playoff matchup but again they still lost um you know that's another thing, too. But this is a different Chiefs team. You know, there's no Tyree Kill in this game. Obviously, Travis Kelsey is a little compromised. You know, um, he's, been dealing, he's been a little banged up this year. Um, you know, so, and, you know, the receivers have had their drop problems. Rasheed Rice has really started to, uh, you know, become that number one wide receiver for this team. Um, you know, Isaiah Pacheco has run the ball well for them. So, the, the Chiefs have a new identity on offense. You know, it's not the same, you know, it's not the same Chiefs offense. But again, this is an offense you still got to respect because of who they, who's running the offense. You know, obviously when you got Mahomes and you got Kelsey there, you still got to respect them. Um, you know, and they still got some guys on, you know, again, like I said, Pacheco, Rashid Rice, they've been making plays. So, and and the Bills defense is, is banged up, you know, Um it's I, it's not going to be – I don't think they're going to go up 21 nothing to start the game against the Chiefs. It's not going to happen because the Chiefs' defense, that's the big that's the bigger story this year. Is the Chiefs' defense has played really well. Um, so I, I think this is going to be a close, tight game. Um, it's probably going to come down to the end. Um, really looking forward to it, of course. I'm not going to say, you know, who's going to win this game right now. But, yeah, I mean, it's third time's a charm. You know, I mean, you lost the previous two matchups against them in Arrowhead, and now you're at home for this game. Like I said, you got Bills Mafia behind you, so that that helps you out. Um, you know, and, and you just gotta not uh, turn the ball over, as well. Um, and the Bills defense got to force some stops. You know, um, I, I'm really curious to see how it's gonna go. You know, I I I don't really. Uh, I don't really know where I, uh, I mean, obviously I did my bracket already. So, you know, you, if you go back and watch that, you know how I had the playoffs shaping out. But um, that doesn't mean I can't change my picks. Um, you know, I, I mean, also, again, from a fan perspective, it'd be nice to see a different team. You know, maybe see the Bills move on and, um, you know, maybe get to the Super Bowl. You know, because obviously the Chiefs won last year. It, you know, for I mean, I know my I, I know my parents are definitely saying that. I know my mom especially be like, oh, I don't, you see a new team. You know, we see the Chiefs every year. Um, I mean, listen, I I with the way the playoffs are right now, I'm fine with whoever gets to the Super Bowl, and that we get a good game. You know, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's th this game is going to be competitive. I, I I'm not going to say this game is going to be a blowout one way or the other this game is going to this game is going to come down to you know who's going to have the ball last now i don't think it's going to be a 42 to 36 game no it is not going to it will not be that game it will not be that game and if it is I, well i'll take it i'll take another one of those that's fine because a lot of people say that's one of the that's the best playoff game ever is that is that game because the amount of scoring i mean you had gabe davis scoring touchdown on fourth and 13 then you had tyree kill he scored the touchdown then uh, Gabe Davis scored another touchdown, and then the Chiefs with 13 seconds left get in the field goal range. Butker kicks the field goal. They go to overtime. They go right down the field. Kelsey scores the touchdown, and that was the and that's the game. I mean, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with another OT game like that. 
Um, but um, yeah, I mean, this is a this is a legacy game for Josh Allen, you know, because if you could do that, that just gets that that gets that monkey off your back. That really does. If you're able to um, if you're able to finally beat this team in the postseason, um, and the Bills, they, and you know, they've been in playoff mode really since you know the game against the Chiefs that they played way back. Um, you know, when Kadarius Tony lined up off sides. So they've they've been in playoff mode ever since they played the Chiefs. Um, now the Chiefs, they're probably like, we lost to this team because when that happened. You know, we want to get revenge for that. So there's also that as well. You know, and it's it's weird because the Bills have kind of, you know, owned the Chiefs in the regular season, but the Chiefs have owned them in the postseason. Um, so... And now we're going to see, and when the Chiefs did beat them, that was in Buffalo and there were no fans. So now we're going to see them in a playoff game in Buffalo with fans. Patrick Mahomes, again, first road playoff game. I mean, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Another Mahomes-Allen matchup. This is like the next, I mean, the big three, like when Burrow's healthy, it's like the, between those three. And obviously, you know, I don't want to, I don't really want to disrespect Lamar Jackson and what he's been able to do because, you know, the first couple of years, you know, we were talking about Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. Um, you know, and, L and Lamar Jackson, uh, you know, couldn't beat the Chiefs, and then they finally did in 2021 in Week Two. Um, you know, uh, Clyde Edwards-Helaire fumbled in that game. The Ravens got the ball, and then you know they were in their own territory on fourth down, and they went for it. Lamar Jackson picked up the first down, and they won. I think they won by a point, and Lamar Jackson finally beat the Chiefs. And since then, the Chiefs haven't played the Ravens. So, you know, we could see that in the championship game. But, um, yeah, it's been a little bit since the last time we saw uh, Mahomes and uh, Lamar Jackson uh, play against each other. Um, so, may, you know, maybe we see that in the AFC championship game. Who knows? But, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people are talking about it being the, the Mahomes-Allen or Mahomes-Burrow being the next, you know, Manning-Brady. Um, I mean, I feel like – well, actually, I don't even know because – you know they've uh, they've played each other uh, the same amount of times. Like Mahomes has played Burrow twice in the playoffs. He's played Josh Allen twice in the playoffs. But now it's now it's third time. So um, yeah, again the NFL is in good hands with uh, the 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 quarterbacks we got. I mean the quarterbacks on the AFC side. I mean you're, it's uh, we're we're in good hands. Uh, we really are. Um, so. But let me know what you guys think. Is this the game that Josh Allen finally gets over that hump and beats Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs? Let me know. Um, that's basically it with the show for today. Uh, there's going to be no baseball show tomorrow. Um, so what we're doing now is it's going to be now every other for every other Friday. Uh, we kind of reached a point in the off season where there's just really nothing going on. I mean, you had a bunch of teams, um, you know, sign a bunch of international players. Um, but, I mean, when I looked at the Hot Stove app, well, on the MLB at Bad app, and went to the Hot Stove uh, page, and there's just nothing yesterday. Um, so, uh, you know, we will, um, that, that'll be next Friday. So it'll be every other Friday. Um, but, uh, yeah, the football show obviously will be tomorrow. Um, we'll preview all the games. I'll give you my picks. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it. So with that, that is all the time that we have for today. I thank you guys for watching. Again, make sure to tune in tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. And until then, I'm Kenneth Grunfelder signing off from the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Have a good day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.